The Green Line LRT long-term vision is moving forward, and Calgarians from north to south will enjoy the benefits this new line brings. From helping us access over 27 neighbouring communities, to connecting us to everything from work, school and shopping destinations, to recreational and cultural facilities, the Green Line is going to make life in Calgary a whole lot better. The full Green Line is planned to be built in stages, with the first 20 kilometres from 16th Avenue North to 126th Avenue Southeast, starting construction in 2020. Full Green Line construction will continue in stages as funding becomes available, ultimately extending 46 kilometres from 160th Avenue North to Seton and nearly doubling the size of Calgary's existing LRT network. We're excited about it and it sounds like you are too. I think that the Green Line will change the way that Calgarians interact with the city in a lot of important ways. I think that it will change the sense of which public spaces are accessible to Calgarians. Uh, I live in the Beltline, so the Green Line coming into the Beltline is a good way for me to uh, access all that the Green Line is going to have to offer. Uh, I use public transit a lot since I'm a university student, and uh, it'll really it'll open up the city to me in ways that I can't quite access right now, so I'm looking forward to that. It'll make it possible for people to, for example, visit Inglewood and Ramsey without having to take a car or, or risk an unpredictable bus ride. It'll make it possible for people to come up Centre Street and to experience the shops and development up there. In addition to hopefully making transit commutes easier for thousands and thousands of Calgarians and uh, reducing some of the automobile congestion on our roads and arteries. My office is over in the uh, Highfield area, so the Green Line goes directly over there and the station would be actually down the hill from my office, which for me uh, would help. See, when I grow up, I, I'm going to be probably an LRT driver and I know you've got to do buses before your LRT, so I could probably go up to like 28th Street Ave Avenue station and go from there to 32nd Avenue where Spring Gardens bus barn is. Calgary needs more public transport, absolutely. It needs public transport. We uh, really are missing out on that. This is a city that depends on cars, it depends on driving, and to have some more options would be fantastic. Because of the uh, LRT, we'll help to increase the amount of businesses and the walkability. So that means you'll be able to go shopping in the district and just walk to the stores. Well, I think it's about connection, and I think the Green Line kind of represents that. Um, going north to south and that provides a lot of opportunities. Uh, Crescent Heights is an area where there's a lot of small businesses and I think this is an opportunity for them to um, be accessed by more of the city and also bring the community together. And if I want to go to the hospital in Seaton, I just all have to do is hop on the sea train rather than drive through the trail and hope that there is no accident or that they have to be deviated and whatever. No matter which way you put this line, it will be a good thing for everyone, right? I just want to see the finalized, get real, sit down, plan, get money, whatever, and start getting the shovels in the ground as quickly as possible. The Green Line would cut down the travel times quite a bit, kind of get to home early and attend to the family affairs a little bit sooner uh, rather than later. The Green Line will change the way things are in Douglas Land very significantly because it used to be such a very isolated community away from the rest of the city and just the sh sheer access to the rest of Calgary, will I think it'll have an amazing impact. I'm curious to see what it'll do. I'm really happy because this is going to encourage more people to use transit so, so the city will, will start having less pollution and then it will be cut down on the cars. This should be done if we want Calgary to reach, in order to reach its potential. You need a good transit system in a, in a city, and I hope this gets approved. The first stage of construction is about to begin. It will be the first step to providing better access to everything we love about Calgary. While convenience and connections are part of the Green Line plan, we're going to experience a lot of other benefits, like reduced greenhouse gases, job creation, and infrastructure that will help manage the city's growth. We'll all have better options to work, live and play in a sustainable and affordable way. The Green Line is part of the future of Calgary. Our future. <laughs>